Welcome to Flight Sim Productions, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have ever received the dreaded 1628 error when trying to load or reload FSX, it's a nightmare to say the least, and I'm hopefully going to help you out of that nightmare. Remember, any advice, anything that uh, is in this video is strictly up to you. You do so at your own risk, and Flight Sim Productions is not responsible for it. Let's get to it, shall we? Get to your main hard drive, and in my instance, it's the C drive. We are going to left double click on it, and we're going to go down to our program 86 file. Dun dun dun! And we're going to double click on the programs, it, program files 86, like so. And we're going to go to common files, double click that. And we're going to go up to the install shield, left double click on everything so far. And we're going to go up to the driver, left double click, left double click on the 11, left double click on the Intel 32. Now you notice that we have three execute files here. We have an iDriver execute, we have an iDriver 2 execute, and we have an iDriver T execute. Almost said three. That's iDriver T as in Tom. Now for me, this is how I made mine work. I saw a lot of stuff on the internet that told you just to right click on each one of these and follow the same example for each one and go down to run as administrator so you would click run as administrator on this one you'd go down to this one run as administrator on that one you go down to the iDriver T right click run as administrator on that one and then you would put your disk back in whoops and uh, you know it would install that way uh, I did see on there for some folks that did work in my instance it did not work so what I had to do, which I eventually stumbled upon, was to do the same for all three of these files, the iDriver, iDriver 2, and the iDriver T. And that was to right click on it, go down to where it says Properties, click on that. Over where it says Compatibility, click on that tab. And where it says Privilege Level, don't click on this yet go to change settings for all users left click on that and then where it says privilege level here tick that box that says run this program as an administrator you're going to do the same for all three of these files hit apply and then OK again you have to do that for all three of the files in my instance that I just showed you I did not hit the apply and OK because I'm up and running and I'm doing quite well, thank you. But you will need to do that. So again, we're going to go to this iDriver 2, right click on it, go down to Properties, click on the Compatibility tab, go to Change Settings for All Users, left click on that, Privilege Level, tick that, make sure it's highlighted, again, Apply and OK. Again, I am not doing it because I have no issues. And then do the exact same thing for the iDriver T. Apply and OK. And put your FSS, FSX Disk 1 in the DVD drive. Run it. Now, a lot of people, including myself, um, Now a lot of people, including myself, actually we don't have the uh, FSX running in the programs 86 file. What we do, it, or what I do, is I make a special file in my C drive. You could do this on your C drive or whatever drive you want to install FSX in, as long as you do not stick it in the program 86 folder. And like I named mine FSX, and then this is where all of my FSX stuff is. I know that 
uh, some of you who are looking to get the uh, Rex Texture Direct, they want you to separate that as well and have your own uh, drive or your own space on the C drive for that. And hopefully that will solve your problem. Remember, I am not any way affiliated with Microsoft products. I am not tech support, so unfortunately if this does not help you out, you'll have to continue your search on the web because I am not providing any support on the uh, Flight Sim Productions YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and good luck!